So guys, let's continue with the system curve. Recall that the system curve is nothing more than just a set of points in which we calculate different volumetric flow rates and find out the system head or the total requirements. So in this exercise number two, we're going to check out the difference if we wanted to change the pipe diameters into four, eight, or even greater diameters. Uh, the main analysis will be done in that, that the velocities will change. You know that every time you change the diameter, velocity would drops actually by a square. So if you decrease, you will, if you increase the diameter, you will decrease the velocity. And the velocity will change not only because of the velocity's heads, but of the friction heads. So we're going to decrease velocity. Let's see actually what will happen. This, for example, will be one example. We have this at 4 inches pipe. And what you will see is that if you wanted to, well, once again, we got one value for one volumetric flow rate. You will see that if you were to do, let's say this is the 4 inch pipe, and if you increase it to the 8 inch pipe, you will decrease the velocities, which means that for the same volumetric flow rate, you will have one pump requirement, you will have other pump requirement for eight. So the pump requirement for the eight pipe or eight inch pipe versus the four inch pipe will be way less. And this is because of velocity dropping. Velocity dropping means friction drop. Friction drop means less energy required. So if we can continue doing this, this is for example 4 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch pipe and 12 inch pipe. So let me, so you get the idea, let's see for the same volumetric flow rate, Q, let's say it's 100 liters per second, you have different system heads just because you have different pipings. That's very interesting. For example, you will have a very high requirement for the four pipe, the four inch pipe and then another one and eventually it's going to be almost smallly changed from 10 to 12 there is no drastic change but if you compare 4 to maybe I don't know 10 it's a huge change on pump requirement this is because velocity will in, well actually will decrease as you increase the diameter so we could say that we are actually shifting to the right when we increase the diameter of piping and we shift to the left when we decrease the diameter. This is the, what I was telling you about. For a specific flow rate, we have different power requirements or imagine for the same power requirement, imagine this. You will have different, imagine you have the same pump, so you have this for the 4 inch diameter and you could move more volumetric flow rate if you change it to 8 pipe and if you change it to a 12 pipe with the same pump you will actually increase the volumetric flow rate so hopefully you get the idea of what is this straight line is essentially having the same pipe uh, sorry the same pump so increasing the pipe size will make you increase the volumetric flow rate due to the drop on friction the conclusions, the curve will flatten, not only that, yeah, as you can see, this is very steep, this is very flat. Uh, it will shift when increasing the pipe's diameter, because the velocity is reduced, and since velocity is reduced, friction, friction is reduced, and therefore, the amount of energy requirement will reduce. So this was just an overview, if you want to see more problems, because this is actually not an actual problem, it's just an intellectual problem. I, you don't know what type of system is, you, and we used only one pipe. If you want to check more problems, go and check out the apply fluid dynamics, then go to part number one, solve problems, and even got quizzes, theoretical quizzes. This is slideshow and much more. This was a free preview. You want to get full access? Go to my incompressible flow course, the. 
link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here centrifugal pumps which is a very important topic in this course you have it right here